So the last steps of finishing up our 3D printed peg for our gear assembly is to remove it from our 3D printer. If we're on the MakerBot, we might need to use a tool like a chisel in order to help us. So these are chisels. There are some of them in my classroom. There are also some of them in the lab. If you are gonna use a chisel, you just wanna go ahead and wiggle it kind of right underneath. You'll hear that kind of peel up and then you should be able to either continue to chisel it or just peel it off with your hands. Now you might leave some residue behind. Again, use a chisel to remove that or your fingers and make sure that you clear off all of this scrap from the 3D print bread as well. And then there is a nice little waste basket over here for 3D printed material. If you are on the Ultimaker, if it has just stopped printing, it will still be hot. And I would like for you to wait at least a few moments for it to cool down. So the Ultimaker will take a little bit longer. Once it cools, like this has been cooling now for a couple of hours, it will come off very easily. If you do still try to do it while it is hot, you might need a chisel, but please come grab me before you try to remove something from this, especially if it has just finished. Now, both of our prints and also the prints from the Athenia, when they are done printing, will have this layer on the bottom that we do not need. So this little bit of support here on the bottom is called the raft, and that is actually not part of our model. So what we are going to do is we're going to remove that. And that is going to look like this right here. So in my classroom, I've got some pliers that we can use to go ahead and peel that raft off by twisting your piece and or uh, just pulling that piece kind of right off the raft using the pliers, you will be able to remove that. On the Ultimaker 3D printer, that raft is a lot thinner um, and it just kind of breaks off rather than peels off. So you can break this off even by hand um, or break it off with the pliers. Again, there are some pliers in my classroom that you can use. There are also some in the lab. And if you do wind up with a little bit of raft left on your print job, it is not the end of the world, um, especially on the Ultimaker prints. A little bit probably does stick around. It's not a big deal. Um, with that, I am not going to take away from your score, but just know that that is the final process of taking off our 3D printed pieces. Once you are done with this, you're gonna go ahead and put all the tools back where they came from. You're gonna put any scraps, um, like this piece of extra filament that's right here, you're gonna put that in our trash bin that's right by the 3D printers, and then you are good to go.